trailer seems to be doing well. I'm pretty happy. Oh, that's a nice Porsche right there. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Oh man, we are getting so lucky with all these freaking beautiful days. There's not a cloud in the sky. We have, uh, we got the four-wheeler. We got the four-wheeler loaded up. You know why? Because we're selling it. It got cleaned up. She's looking all shiny and pretty. Spent about two hours or so with the new power wash that I got. Going through, kind of cleaning her up. Uh, so we're meeting the guy down in Hooks It. I have some more stuff to get from the old house, a couple of bed frames and whatnot that's gonna go to the dump. Don't mind the road noise. We're at Life Storage over here and uh, very busy roads. Also, another thing I'm pretty excited about is we got the trailer painted. Yeah, the trailer is painted. I did this yesterday. Just put a nice coat of black on it. And uh, I gotta say, what a difference. What a huge difference. So we got we got this working again. Um, this had to be shaved, the knob, because it, was, uh, it wasn't coming up. And um, we also got the winch on, the winch working. Um, so just a couple of power cables. We got the battery uh, sitting in, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's sitting in front of the four-wheeler. We're loaded up. So we're gonna head, uh, this is, I'm in soccer right now. So we're gonna head over to uh, hooks it and let's get some AC on here. Woo, that feels so good. The AC feels so good. And uh, enough talking, we're gonna make the drive, try to make this this thing go away and uh, that'll give us some free room to uh, move on to the next project, which I'm super excited, super excited. As you can see with the, uh, let her warm up a little bit. So this is what's left. Yeah, there we go. This is what's left. We got a table. It came from my aunt's house. Um, and like a solid chair. This thing is solid. I don't know what to do with it. It's missing cushions. I gotta get rid of it eventually. That's the transmission that came out of the Tacoma. Uh, the exhaust with a sweet cherry bomb. I got the bumper sitting here, intercooler, uh, various stuff that I already have. So not not a lot in here. Just uh, I need to I need to go through and get it all up there. This is where I ripped out the motor uh, just over a year ago in the Tacoma. And um, good times, bad times here. Not too bad, but we have to uh, we gotta go take Sweet Cheeks on a test drive. You know why? Cause I haven't driven a manual in a very long time. It's, uh, I, I would say three weeks. I don't know, look back to when I did the, um, taking the mufflers off the Audi or putting them back on rather. Whenever that was, whenever that upload was. That was the last time I drove a manual. I gotta pee really freaking bad. Maybe we can just go drive down the road and take a tinkle and drive back and then we have to uh, be on our way cause we're meeting that guy at Rob's house and hooks it. Right now I'm in Met Epping. Right now I'm in, Right now I'm in, <laughs> now I'm in Epping, so so we're gonna uh, we're gonna head that way. Hopefully get that sold and continue on with the day. Can I just say she's really dirty, but this car is gonna be a lot of fun this year. It really is. Don't mind the templates from February. She needs a bath, a bath and tires. That's what she needs, and she'll be she'll be ready to rip. At least have some fun at the track. And then, like I said, uh, I was thinking about Cam in the LS3. Cam in it doing spring work, whatnot. But we'll see, it's all up in the air. And uh, so let's do that, get it done. Let's take sweet cheeks for a drop. I'm super excited. Okay, so uh, AC's cranking. AC's cranking and it feels amazing. It feels so good. The AC in the truck is so intermittent. It, uh, it lasts, it's, it has to do something with the switch. The switch is bad on the truck. So I'll get AC for a little bit, like 10 minutes, and then I'll just stop. This, this feels good. This feels really good. It's not too hot, but it's getting there. All right, let's see what the coolant temps are at. Uh, I forget. Okay, 
vehicle. Oh yeah, we're we're already there. All right, maximum power. AC off. Boom, done. Windows obviously down. I won't be able to hear this thing. Let me uh, let me try and position you the best that I can. The best, that, the best that I can. It's probably a good crotch shot. Get going there. Ooh, spicy, spicy, spicy. Mm, 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 baby go, mm, baby go, mm, baby go. Come on, let's go, mm, baby go. Traffic is crazy, man. Just try crazy. Let's go. this car this is a freaking blast it's so much fun oh my god so much fun we gotta be careful because uh, we're not registered here With this car, we're gonna go windows back up. We're gonna go back to some AC. There we go. All right, that's all I want to do. Just have a little fun with her. Okay, guys, we made it to uh, made it back to the, the house. To Rob's house, we dropped off the trailer. The trailer's sitting over there for now. Uh, I just put the foiler in the garage for now, so it doesn't sit out in the heat. I don't want it to be hot to touch you know he's gonna want to ride it around and whatnot uh so that's sitting in there until he gets he's about 20 minutes out and then uh we're gonna load up all the rest that's in the room yada yada i got some stuff that that needs to be moved out mattresses i don't know what's up with that uh the truck towed the empty trailer beautifully the trailer did really well as well uh, the real test is going to be obviously once we put Betty on, put some weight. She's got no motor, she's a rolling chassis, so it won't be that much weight, but you're still talking um, probably a couple thousand pounds. I don't know. I don't know what the car weighs without, without the motor and trans. So we're hoping to get rid of the four wheeler, make some room so I don't have to take it back to, uh, to Maine to sell because I just want to get it done. Uh, the Audi will be coming up next week along with the Cummins will be coming up as well. So we're going to get all the cars up to Maine. Uh, this is going to go up for sale, the Audi, and then the Cummins, I need to do a bunch of work. I have a bunch of parts for it. So I'm going to have the time next week to probably tear into the Cummins, get everything I want. I'm going to wrap their line it, make it all pretty, make sure it's a uh, well-balanced truck, you know, the best I can with my abilities, which isn't that much, and then sell it and move on to, uh, move on to a classic, hopefully. I'm really, I'm really digging the uh, classic cars. And I'm hoping for like a mid 60s Mustang would be a really cool car to kind of bring into the to the channel, do some work to, and um, it would just be a lot of fun. It would be a lot of fun. So we're gonna hang out, wait for him to get here, and then and hopefully next time I check back, the four wheeler's gone. Okay, so it is uh, quite later in the day, and uh, change of plans. What I thought were the keys for Betty uh, turns out to be keys for my safe. They're very similar and look the same, and. Uh, I'm a dumbass. I mean, it's not a wasted trip anyways, because we got band practice tonight with the boys. Wednesday nights for the boys. pretty good I have to 
to readjust the winch. She's running out of room. Doing good though, she's almost there. If I can just get her on top of this hump, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna leave her right there. baby those rear wheels up yeah. oh it's angling again All right guys, so Betty is loaded up. We got her on the trailer. It is scorching hot out today. Oh my goodness, it is hot. But the uh, the winch did flawlessly. It did make a couple of noises, but you know, it worked through. Um, so this was, I don't know how heavy this car is without the engine and transmission, but it's a couple thousand pounds at least. It has to be, right? I don't know, it's an Oldsmobile. It's old. It's got it right in it. She's uh, she's all tied up. I might throw a strap, one more strap in the uh, the front of it. But I don't want to bore you with uh, with too much. But um, this is kind of a big deal for me because uh, I don't tow stuff normally. Um, I've only towed probably once with the Duramax, and uh, this is new. This this is new. Okay. All right. Yeah. We just kind of fell out of place there. Might want to fix that. Might want to fix that. So yeah, I just uh, I don't tow with this thing, so it's going to be quite an adventure um, to go all the way up to Maine, about an hour and 15 minutes away. So we're going to uh, return Rob's ramps here because I completely forgot mine. So thanks, Rob. Appreciate it, buddy. And then we'll hit the road. This has been quite the video. It's been uh, over the course of two days. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's now Thursday. So we got a buyer for Saturday. We're going to bring her up. Hopefully she sells, and uh, we'll we'll have some extra cash to throw in the 5.3 build that we're doing. Or the Camaro. Maybe the Camaro. I don't know. I really want to cam the Camaro. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Please, if you're not subscribed, consider going down and hitting the subscribe button for me. You guys are great. As always, keep it weird. We'll catch you next time. Adios.